Hey everyone, it's BorgBrain coming back at you with another educational blockchain video. Uh, and this video is on Matic. Now, Polygon. Uh, there's been a switch in the name. Um, and this is the first video in a series. I don't know exactly fully where I'm going with this, but uh, I've been wanting to cover XDAI and Matic, which are the two... Um, kind of, you know, so, like side chains of Ethereum allows Ethereum to scale in the short term. Um, and uh, I've been wanting to explore them for a while now. So, uh, you know, flip the coin, it's Matic where I'm going first. And so this video is going to be on setting up MetaMask to be able to interact with Matic. So it should be a pretty short video. Um, now, that being said, um, Again, as always, this is not financial advice. Uh, you know, do your own research, be safe, have fun. Uh, I'm, anonym <laughs> I'm an anonymous person on the internet, so, you know, uh, you know, take all this with a grain of salt and, uh, you know, always do your own research so you can make informed decisions. Simple as that, right? Um, now, uh, basically, uh, you know, here, if you, all the links will be in the description. This is the Crypto Society YouTube channel. You know, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, on with the content. So, if you go to Matic, uh, you know, you get this pop-up, and so then you go visit Polygon. All right, so here's the basic deal. Uh, they've been called Matic for the longest time. The ticker is still Matic. Um, but they had some, basically they kind of had a change of plans a few months ago, and then decided uh, well, we're kind of repositioning on the run in terms of how the network is structured, and because they changed to a certain degree, they decided that a rebrand would be in order. Okay, so you want to know more about Polygon, previously Matic Network? You know, you got all your uh, papers and this and that. Uh, most of the most of the stuff is actually still on the Matic website. They haven't ported it all over to the Polygon website. Uh, so documentation and stuff like here, you know, setting up. Uh, you know, MetaMask for the Matic network, it's here on Matic Developer. So docs.matic.network, this is where you got all your developer docs. Is, they're, they're still here under the Matic branding. So it might be a bit confusing, but, you know, just just so you know, um, that's where it is now. Of course, the goalposts are changing constantly. Now, if we would look at the, uh, you know, Matic Polygon token, you know, up 4.6 on the day. It did uh, pretty good throughout the um, the the dump, the recent dump, and uh, you know, 59 overall. So there you go. You know, where's it traded? This is traded in a lot of places. This is not a project that was launched yesterday. Uh, so you know, coming along, and here we go. This is what you need to know. Again, all the links will be in the description, so you can uh, look this up and get all your uh, details. Um, to be able to do your own research if you look below. And uh, here we are. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I'm in the wrong wallet. Well, where are we? Matic test. That's where I want it to be. So here I am, I got a little bit of Matic that I was going to port over, so the next video is going to be me sending Matic tokens over to Matic using the Matic bridge. But of course I need to be able to set up um, my MetaMask to be able to interact with Matic, uh, Matic. so that's, uh, that's the deal here. So how, how do you do it? You come down here, you go to Custom RPC. All right. Now, here it says type in Matic Network, but I'm going um, to actually type in Polygon. New RPC. So um, we go HTTPS colon uh, slash slash RPC dash mainnet dot matic vigil dot com slash. And we tab down to the chain ID and it's a one thirty seven. And the currency symbol, we're going to use Matic and the block explorer. So HTTPS oop, colon slash slash explorer dot matic dot network 
slash. So just do a little uh, double check of my spelling and all that. It's always good to double check these things just so you know where you're at. Um, yeah, that's about it, right? Click save. And we look down here. Okay, so add, oh, add network. We already added the network. <laughs> so uh, long story short, um, as we look in here now, now we've got our polygon. So with this setup, now we're able to basically connect to the bridge with MetaMask on the Ethereum side, send our Ethereum Matic over to Matic Matic or Polygon Matic. And once we're, we've done that, now we have our gas. Of course, Matic token acts like Ethereum does in Ethereum, where it's, you know, gas for transactions. So you need Matic first before you're going to do anything. I got that nice little stack in there. Um, you know, Matic is as, as close to free for transactions as it gets, essentially. So very um, attractive for those looking to escape the high Ethereum gas fees. And there's been, um, you know, quite a few projects uh, these days that have been porting over to chains like Binance Smart Chain, uh, XDAI, and Matic, um, and it kind of it kind of sucks in a way because they're all sort of splitting into you know multiple different they're going into multiple different directions and now you have like Solana has come along with uh, their Ethereum interoperability so some projects are starting to go there and you know all these other chains coming along that are all promising, oh, we have EVM, we've got MetaMask, we've got, you know, Remix and Truffle integration, we've got all the, you know, the WASM and the Solidity smart contracts. And what happens is, you know, projects will just, they'll, they hop to this one, they hop to that one. And the, 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 the good thing is, is that we have options where developers and projects can, can go to these other networks uh, to be able to, take advantage of cheaper gas. The bad thing is, is that we have a bunch of these chains which are not really, uh, you know, they're, they're fully separate chains, they're in different places, they don't, you know, there's token bridges, but it's not like uh, fully composable systems uh, that are fully interoperable on like a, a composability layer, it's just uh, tokens that get locked in a smart contract or, or burned or minted on another side. A token bridge, which is like a very, very primitive form of cross-chain interoperability. Um, and the the really good uh, cross-chain interoperability, uh, uh, you know, from, from, from all my research and what I can tell is, you know, you got IBC and Cosmos, and that's, you know, they're going to be offering this kind of a interoperability between chains that's beyond just like a token bridge. And then... Uh, you know, of course, you've got Kusama Polkadot networks, which are not out yet, but the Kusama parachain auctions are coming pretty quick. So long story short, Matic is one of these top-notch options for uh, Ethereum. There's a bunch of projects headed there, uh, heading there soon or already there. So now that I got this set up, it's time to make some more videos. So uh, stay tuned for some more content on Matic. And uh, yeah, pretty short video for today. Uh, I know I'm going to be going into Matic more, uh, so I'm going to save uh, more kind of uh, delving into uh, aspects of Matic for future videos. So short one for today. Um, you know, like, subscribe. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm done. I'm out. All right. Cheers. Peace.